Mm. Hold on just a minute. Hold on just a minute. I didn't do a thing that I was supposed to do. Hold on just a minute. Oh my goodness. Can I get to my... Can I... Can I... Let me get to the desktop. All right. Under the sea. Be something you wish. Let me hurry up and get to the game before I get copyright. Goodness. Okay. Woo. Dave, what up, Dave? What up, loser? What up, y'all? How is everybody since two hours ago? <laughs> Opening presents. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, Caesar, we're back. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing a little bit more. Don't forget to defeat robots or tea. Thank you, Bubble Bass friend. No, uh, bu Bubble, Bubble, Bubble. What's his name? Bubble Buddy. Bubble Don't buddy forget, friend. Bubble Buddy friend. What up, Kogia? What? I thought we had ten. Alright, we need to get one more then. Am I gonna get one from crabs? So do you want to trade shrimp? That's quality craft. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Can I always do that? Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity oh, here. 3,500 and he'll trade for a gold spatula. How many do I have left? All right, all right. 500 more. Crabs, crabs drives a hard bargain, man. That's a lot. No, you're fine, Caesar. I really appreciate you guys just stopping in. That's all. That is enough for me. Trust me. There. Ta -da, ta -da. Yeah, of course. I love uh, subscribing to people who deserve it. You definitely deserve it. I love. I, I saw your channel. You're pumping out. Beach of sludge what is it? Two videos a day. Very good, but man. Keep up the grind. Well Keep up the grind. Slowly improve the quality over time. And yeah, you. If, if you're doing, if you're doing that grind from the beginning already, yeah, you've you got to drive. Because it, it's tough, man. If you don't have it, if you don't have that from the beginning, it's, it's hard once your channel gets bigger. You know. Dude, you're doing a great job so far. I'm very proud of you. You're doing awesome. Keep it up. For real, for real. Uh, I'm good. Did you get any new VHS tapes yet? Uh, in in reference to what exactly? So Cartoon Network? No. Well, where is it? Technically, yes. Technically. The reason why I say that is because one of the rarest. Uh, <laughs> Cartoon Network VHS games popped up on eBay again for the first time in like a really, really long time. Um, so I bought an extra copy, even though I already had it. It's the uh, slipcover VHS tape copy of the Halloween tree on VHS. Now, the Halloween tree on VHS isn't rare. This particular version, the slipcover... VHS Cartoon Network label Halloween Tree. One of the rarest VHSs I've ever encountered. So I got an extra copy of that, and it came sealed. It came sealed. Dude, that's gotta be worth. I, I don't even know. Hundreds, maybe? Guess how much I bought it for? $15. Talk about he didn't know what he had. Yeah, I know, Mr. Crab's voice. It's so different. 
Mrs. Krabs sounds nothing like Clancy Brown. Did Miss did he do Mrs. Krabs too? I don't know about that. Only two minutes in it, Patrick's pants have already fallen down twice. But you know, that that just that's a good sign. That means we're we're in for a crazy time, doesn't it? Is it mean is the game audio a bit delayed? Uh, I hope not. It could be that it's getting feedback from my end as well, so I lowered it a bit more. Let me know if it's still like that. Uh, yeah, of course, Code Geass, dude. Like, it, dude, being a YouTuber is tough, and especially, especially when you get when you start getting bigger, uh, it, it's hard to know what to do. You know, it's hard to know what to do, and it's hard to know what decision is the right decision. Let me tell you, 15 years, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've had a lot of successes, right? But I made a lot of mistakes. Um, one thing I did recently is once you once you finally start to take YouTube seriously, um, don't treat it like your YouTube channel. Anymore. Treat it like your business. Once I made that mindset change. And I stopped thinking of my YouTube channel as a YouTube channel, and I started thinking of it as, as my business. My mindset and the way that I looked at my channel completely changed. And I think that that's a good thing. Hey, Plush. Good man, how are you? Did you enjoy that two hour break? Mm. Mr. Krabs, I got you. Time for a little sleepy sneak. The person, the person I actually learned that advice from about power looking. The person I learned that from actually was uh, like a spring he, breeze. SpongeBob. I Do I look on the burned? Phone and we were talking about it. What he told me. He said that's what he does with his channel. Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! And it's been working that so far for me. Robot! So that is my advice to share. Yeah, a big robot. Oh, no. Exactly. That robot is out on the island. Nobody Isn't can get to him. Isn't it crazy that they got the voice for Larry to come back, but not Mr. Krabs? Can you please turn down the game? It's too loud. Yes, I would love to. Give me just one second, and I can make that a reality. All right. Should be a bit better. I uh, lowered it by about 20 decibels. Um, let me know if it's still too Spongebob. loud and I can Maybe change it again. Maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point Caesar, the sun's Caesar, you are like that this robot. close. Oreos and root beer. You're very close. I'm a big fan of Oreos. I'm more of a du if you hit I'm more connect, of a double stuff guy I'll myself. Here. These are just <laughs> regular. Uh... But... I don't know what it is. I feel like a new once you go double stop, it's hard to go back. I've also felt that once they introduced the double stuff and like the mega stuff and all that stuff, I I feel like now this could be a Mandela effect forming. But ever since they introduced those, I've noticed that the stuff in just the regular Oreo is not as much as it used to be. Am I crazy? Like, I feel like I'm like gaslighting myself. But I'm unsure if I am. I'm gonna assume you jump on this fat guy to get across. Yeah. Y'all, I wanna play Ed Ed Nettie Misadventures on stream with you guys so bad, but I'm really I'm really waiting till like the perfect time to do it. Because I want to bring my cousin on stream to play through the game. Because he helped make it. And that'd be just a fun experience for you guys and for me and for the channel. And probably for him, I would hope. Um, but I don't know. I, the, I, that's such a big game, not just for the channel. But I grew up with that game as a fan. So it means a lot to me, too. So I'm, I want to do something perfect for you that Nettie was in that game. We did miss an opportunity 
Uh, I wish we could have played through the Ed Ed and Eddie games during last month oh, for its no. anniversary. The children's balloons have been overfilled. Clancy Brown They're was busy at the time. The what was he doing? Control. Was it Lex? Was it Lex Luthor? He was stuck doing. I don't. I, I don't remember exactly what it was. But you're right, Code Geass. He was busy doing something. I just. I don't recall exactly what. I want to say it was Lex Luthor. It's a bit better. Okay, I got you. I can lower it even farther. Lowered it by about five more decibels. Let me know once again. If it's too loud, I can turn it down as as uh, much as you want. I don't know, Mrs. Pop. Yes, you can save the children by bubble bash. Bubble, bubble bash, bash, all the balloons. Come see me for a reward. Then come see me for a reward. Can, can do, do, Mrs. Puff. Yeah. All right, let's get this here. This is gonna be pretty easy. I would think, anyways. And then, of course, you get these things that start freaking moving. The minute I say, hey, it's gonna be easy, of course the freaking stuff starts moving. The more double stuff flavor Oreos makes makes at some point it's just gonna be like eating icing. Have you seen the most stuff? That is insane. I have never, nor would I probably ever do that. That's way too much. And I love the stuff. I think the icing on the in, in the middle is like the best part of an Oreo. Um, because the the Oreo itself, like the actual cookie. I've never been a fan of personally. Uh, like that type of like just the cookie, like without the icing in it, like just the just the Oreo type cookie, that chocolate. Never been a big fan of personally. Need to get these balloons up here. Oh, all right. So this needs to turn somehow. Uh, I'm just unsure of how. What happens if you... No, it does nothing. Um... Okay. Let's have this blow up. I guess I'll just move forward until I can come back and do that. Because at the moment, I can't. Oh, what is this? Sandy? If this is Sandy... Okay, this is Patrick. Can I switch to Sandy? Will it, like, is it, does it go in threes? No. Well, I would assume it, I need Patrick, or else why else would it have me switch? Oh, the Jack 2 video game. Yeah, it makes sense. It's better plush? Okay, good to hear. Three regular Oreos with, uh, worth of icing. Who would... Yeah, it's too much, man. Like, there's not a single person in the world who, who would claim themselves as healthy that eats that. Like, that... It's just not happening. Um... Why did I become Patrick? Like, what was the reason for it? turn back into Spongebob. I don't know why. I I mean, this was here, so I assumed... But it's like, look at all these balloons and stuff. I'm missing out on all this because I can't do it as Patrick. Uh -oh. I can't swim. Um, have you ever found the clamshell of Meet the Beatles VHS? No, it doesn't exist. I Trust me, it does not exist. I've looked everywhere. Uh, I just, I, I, because don't forget, Meet the Beatles came out, despite it having, like, a very similar design to the other Powerpuff VHS tapes, right? Don't forget that that one actually came out long after those. Um, so. 
probably by that point they had discontinued the idea of... Uh oh, this one sinks? They all sink. What is this? What? Oh! Where are you going? Get back here. Oh, and it brings them back onto the beach. How interesting is that? Okay. Looks like we got everybody here. Um, there's a couple more. There's... That's an enemy. Okay, well, at least they, they get back to where they're supposed to be. Hey, EWE Network, what's going on? Has 300 subscribers. Very nice. Oh, Dirge. Dirge is back in here again. What's up, Dirge? Uh, your character and love thy neighbor Larry Barnes should return in Ready something. What if I told you... Now, this is not necessarily a NDA contract breaking thing. Especially not for you guys, anyways. But what I was told at the red carpet premiere for that movie... What I was told was that they're making a sequel. And from what I was told is that my character does return. Now, as you've seen the movie, what does that mean for my character or for the lead? That's a great question. Uh, I don't know. Because, like I said, as you've seen the movie, it's like... Oh, that was close. Um, the way that it ends, again, I'm not spoiling it for anybody else who hasn't seen it. I heard that you were close. Yes, Bubble Buddy. I mean, uh, yes. We were having a sand castle gold contest. On top. And some... If I had a castle. Uh, well, um, it kind of makes you wonder, like, what does my position turn into? Uh, you know, like, do I become the new head, or how does that work? How is that going to work? But that's what my director had told me uh, during the red carpet that we had for the film's premiere. He told me that. Whoa, what the... What is happening? What is... What is happening? Why did everything just start sinking? Yeah, he, he, he said, uh, Sequel's coming. Larry Barnes is coming back. He joked with me. I hope that's true. I'll take more work. For real, dude. I will take some more work. I'd be hyped if that happened too, dude. Honestly. Uh, anyway, uh, 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 to be fair, anyone who eats regular Oreos a lot every day can consider themselves very healthy. This is also true. That's also true. Oh, 30 subscribers. You made a Cartoon Network rant? Ooh, what'd you say? What'd you say? Very curious. Dude, it, it just, it happens so quick. Like, I'm trying to read chat. I, it's like a jump scare. I keep forgetting that it just happens in that area. Alright, here we go. Did you know... Hold on a minute. Did you know when Meet the Beat Beatles was first released on DVD, the DVD had a virus? Had a virus called Fun Love and it kills your computer? What? I did not know that. That sounded... How did that happen? Who, who, it, who there allowed that to happen? Alright. Yeah, dude. You, you really gotta be... What was that? How is that fair? So what are you supposed to do? Larry Barnes being in charge of the business sounds like a recipe for funny scenarios. Oh, I know. I can only imagine. Dude, if he, if, if, what, I don't even know how he would properly run that business. Like, how would he not, um, get fired all the time? Like, how would he not lose his job immediately? Like, uh, Marcus is the reason why Larry is probably still there, because Marcus probably covered his ass a bunch of times. I don't know. Either way, I'm down for it. 
whatever he's got cooking, I'll eat. If, if that makes sense. Whatever he's serving, I'll take. Alright, here we are. What is this? Oh, I needed to be Patrick there to lift that up. Oh well. we will um let's see if I can there's there's no way there is no way alright so let's just go this way this is where it wants me to go anyway apparently I think because there's not there's anywhere else to go who nope is a total Chad <laughs> I mean I get I think so I think you're right um uh, like I said I just don't know what he would do in that business scenario I mean, he, he literally, they just hired a new, like, intern, and Larry Barnes is like, oh, new intern? Oh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to town. It's like, all right, dude. I still talk to half that cast. They're, they're all still very nice. I haven't really seen much of them still, but can we communicate on social media? We like each other's stuff and etc. Oh! I feel like a new sponge. Attacked by beach balls. We just met the sponge. The spongeinator. All right, let's hurry up and get past this cannon. Okay. Uh, Deadpool three. What are my thoughts on Deadpool three? I really enjoyed the trailer. I'm really excited for it to come out. Um, I really enjoyed the first two Deadpools. I really enjoyed the first two Deadpool. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh! The only thing I would say I'm weary of is what they're going to do with the universe of the Fox films. Right? Like, what are they going to do? I mean, I trust them, you know, I, I, and if, from, if they have hinted at it of, like, uh, th they're trying to, I don't know, kill them off, I guess. Like, kill, kill off that universe. Like, that's gonna be, like, the big joke in the end. But I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, the way to go about it. But, I mean, you know, it's... Whoa. Look at this. I did not walk like how I wanted it to. Are we sinking? How many socks do I have left? Ah-ha! I love how, like, there's all this stuff for kids to, like, figure out, and I'm a almost 30-year-old guy, and I'm, like, having issues figuring this shit out. <laughs> hmm. I've written books, and if one of my books gets adapted into film, I would love to give you a role. However, it's likely wishful thinking that my book would ever get adapted. I d don't... Which, first of all, I would love to play whatever role it is you give me. Whoa, look, it's, uh, uh, not Spongegar, whatever the Patrick version of Spongegar is. Um, but dude, uh, let me say something. I'm not super, like, a super big believer in, like, manifesting, right? I'm not. I'm just, I'm not. But, I'd be lying if I said, like, not that it's not true, that, not that it's, like, a lie, but I'd be lying if I said, for example, that square, I haven't noticed Bob, things happen now. in my own personal life. 
um, that not rely don't rely on on that, but they do. It does happen. I'd be lying if it didn't happen. That sucks so much, man. So definitely, like, like I'm not saying to uh, to manifest, but work towards it, man. Work towards it. Write your book. You know, um, you never know, man. Hollywood is always looking for ideas, dude. They're always looking for ideas, and you know, don't sell yourself short. That's gonna be what it, what it wants. Is that right there? I'm almost confident. I love how I'm almost confident. I couldn't be completely confident. Sometimes pushing a simple button I mean, look at me. Push, 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 push. Ten years ago when I started my acting career, I didn't think that I'd be... I didn't think that I would be um, doing what I'm doing. Ten years ago, I I, I was, you know, okay, ten years ago, as a big Dragon Ball fan would do, I'm sitting on my couch watching Dragon Ball, and I'm watching, you know, Master Roshi give, uh, you know, his biggest Kamameha he's ever given, right? Well, fast forward ten years, and guess what happened to me? Uh, a couple months ago, I recorded for a show called, um, uh, fuck, what's that? It's something about, like... I have an OP, I, I, I'm OP even at level 1 or something like that. It's one of those video game isekai or whatever. And uh, I go in to record and guess who my director is? Mike McFarlane. Guess who's Mike McFarlane? The voice of Master Roshi, right? Never in a million years did I ever think that that would happen, right? Or think about me on Dr. Stone, right? Who would have thought that my name would appear on Cartoon Network and Toonami's list one day? Who would have thought? I sure as hell wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. I sure as hell would not have. So, like I said, definitely don't sell yourself short, man. You can do anything in this world you want. To do. If you want to write a book, write a book. If you want that book to get adapted into the film, that book will get adapted in the film. It's all about knowing the right people, being friends with the right people, having those connections, having those... More than just connections, having those relationships. That's all there is to it. You can do whatever you want. We've been making more videos than ever before in addition to acting. I, oh, it, it, and it's impressive. I appreciate it. I, I, ha I get... Believe it or not, I get that a lot. Um... I guess it is tiring for me to do what I do. Like, I, I act, I voice act, I uh, do YouTube, I stream, I, you know, still go to the gym, I still, I've got a lot of, I, I do a lot of things. Uh, and I still manage to somehow find time for friends and for me, personal time. I don't know how I do it. I really don't. Uh, but I, I've gotten a lot of compliments, so I, I really appreciate that. It just means that uh, my hard work is paying off, you know? Take that. Fresh like a spring breeze. Ticket thief. Alright, so I'm going to switch to Patrick. Which I think I need to up here in person. <laughs> oh wow, hold on. A typical uh, Jamie Snowden uh, cartoon arc ran back in the day. It sucks, schedule sucks, variety sucks, thanks for watching. That what, dude, that did used to be me. That dude, that honest, honest to God, that did used to be me. I'd make a video and be like, "This shit sucks." Nowadays, you can't, you, you, you just can't talk like that these days. You know, you, you, you end up turning off a lot of people. Uh, but yeah, back then, like, cause like now I'll start videos like, "Today we're gonna talk about 
the sudden downfall of a fan favorite Cartoon Network and why it's not as good as it used to be. Back then, I was like, man, this shit is garbage. This is trash. This sucks. <laughs> I, I, I find that... Thank you for noticing that, Caesar. It's true. It's true, yeah. Uh, it was recalled a few weeks later, and a new version came out that doesn't have it. The recall was said that there was a problem with putting the episodes on the disc when the disc was first made. The disc kept flashing when the episodes were playing, and soon they fixed the recall version with not much money at all. Interesting. My books tend to have antagonizing businessmen. After seeing your performance with Larry Barnes, I think you could play one, play one of the businessmen. That would be great. Uh, remember Night of a Hundred Frights, uh, where you were like six years old, supposed to figure this out? Dude, I know, man. Trust me. Who was supposed to figure half that shit out in Night of a Hundred Frights? And you know what's crazy? Is I still see, like, those Facebook pages that are, like, that, you know, they'll, they'll share, like, older things. And it's like, who remembers this? There was one where they shared Night of a Hundred Frights, and he's like, who played this growing up? And everyone's like, oh, I loved this game. This game was my childhood. And, that. and I was like... I was so tempted to reply to every comment and be like, this game sucks. But I didn't. I I'm not going to ruin people's childhood like that. Uh, but dude, I wanted to. I really wanted to be like, this game fucking garbage, you know? But with how I held it in. I held it in. I'm, I'm a I was an adult, all right? I was a big boy. I did the responsible thing, right? Uh, there was problems with the VHS when the episodes were being added to the disc. They accidentally added a virus to the disc. That might have been the reason why Powerpuff ne never got uh, n never got a DVD in. Maybe. When people are born in 95, that's me, you'd, you'd be 28, 29. People born in 95, you were 15 in 2010. People born in 95, you are proto-Gen Z. Is that me? I was born in 95. What is pro- wh What is proto-Gen Z? The introduction of Z Proto in the global market indicates the company's intent to launch a new generation of legendary Z sports car. That's probably not it. Um, I'm not seeing anything on that. Proto Gen Z? Here's a Proto Zoomer. Is a term that refers to those born at the end of the millennial generation and the beginning of Gen Z. Is that it? Is it a proto-zoomer? I don't know anything about this stuff, guys. I, have, I know nothing. You want to know the two things I know nothing about? This this Gen Z boomer stuff and the, um, the, the, the what do you call it? The, the astrological signs, you know, like if you're a Libra or like whatever. Those are like the only things that I don't follow. So I, I'm like, I'm lost. I don't know any, I don't, I, I don't know those ones. So we got the season one DVD in 2006, which they ended up canceling the season DVDs and just went for a full anniversary uh, collector's edition. Which, at the end of the day, is was probably the best choice. Um, I have the books and released them, so I have to achieve my part of the dream. You released them? Where? Are they like physical copies? You got them published? That's very impressive, if you did. Um, I read all of this on a Twitter page from someone who worked on the DVD, but I don't remember who it was. Okay, cool. Hey, while you're still here, maybe at the end of the live stream you can record some videos with us? I would love to. I would love to. Maybe, this, maybe we can do a schedule rant. Because the only issue with doing that is I tried to do a reaction video once before on stream. It was a time where I, it was a day where I was really crunched for time, and I needed to stream at like a perfect seven o'clock time, and, but I also needed to like record content, and I, and I couldn't stay up later than the stream. I had somewhere to, I needed to be, or I had something to do. I don't remember. So I I tried starting the stream with a reaction video, then to just get into the game. Well, I got halfway through that reaction video, and they canceled. They closed the stream because of copyright or whatever, which is stupid. But, with that being said, I would love to do, like, a schedule rant on stream. That'd be, that'd be cool. Uh, you were very blunt back then. Why you tone it down nowadays? It's a different era. It's a different... I have to. I can't be that blunt anymore. Nobody likes blunt these days. 
Trust me, from experience, I've, I've had to learn the hard way. I've had to tone myself down a lot. I came up with the idea for my book back in 2015. I started writing it in 2019, released it in 2021. Very nice. I heard QC with the Powerpuff Girls complete set. Heard QC. Oh, Dirge. You know my cousin worked on the Ed Ed and Eddie video game, right? I know you're a big Ed Ed and Eddie fan, so I wasn't sure if you knew that. Uh, I released my books on Amazon. They were released in both ebook and physical form. Very nice. Thank you, EWE Network. I appreciate it. Hmm. Sorry, lad, but the carnival is what? closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse. If you help me get rid of that no good robot. How many of these do I have to carry? Mr. Kraft says, That guy's taking over me ticket booth. Help get him out of there. Patrick just destroys the entire ticket booth. There's no way that's what he wanted. Defeat 100 robots as Patrick in the campaign. Not exactly what I oh, had it, in mind. okay, great. I hope my insurance covers all this. I'm glad I wasn't alone in that. Why don't you try something less expensive? Or, I mean... Okay, cool. Dangerous. Just wanted to make sure. I still think that's cool. I, I think it is online, but I think it's like I a different game mode. I don't think it's like... I, I don't I because I, if, if I remember when this came out I think I remember they introduced some new game mode Would where you could play them? online but it is a new game mode they gotta come out with a uh, a really expansive online experience well there is all-star battle brawl is that online I'd love to do like an all-star battle brawl stream where I get to play with some of you guys kind of changing in and out that could be really fun uh, I think you should make a video about this recall DVD. It's not much money. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Send me what you have of that. Um, and yeah, I'll do some research on it and make a video. An online Spongebob game would be cool. Hell yeah. In, in the similar vein to this. And in fact, you know what? After this, uh, the next Spongebob game we play is technically a, a sequel to this. Called the Cosmic... What is it? The Cosmic Shake or something like that? Or the Qu Cosmic Quake? Something like that. Uh, maybe that one's online. I'll have to do more research into it. I, I don't know how much each, like, flower petal gives you compared to another, but... I also don't really know what the point of that was, either. Um, Alright, I guess we'll head on down here. Cosmic Shake, yes. That one might be online. Have you been lonely out there I, I'll have to. I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, if this one had an online mode, you would think that one would. What what console do you have? Maybe after I finish this segment, I can try that online mode out, and you can jump on if you want to, loser. That'd be fun. I'd love to try out that online mode anyway. You know? I think you should... Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not a bad thing. Just a big difference from how you'd rant. Uh, to now, both are great, but I remember you would call Naruto fans Naruto's. Yes, I would. Uh, I was very aggressive back then. Don't forget, also, I was... Like, like I said, maybe... 14, 15, 16, somewhere around there, I was, I was in junior high at some of the, some of those ages, you know, um, so my, my mind was definitely in a very different place, I was definitely a very different person, a lot more aggressive, 
I'm still kind of aggressive, um, but it's definitely a lot more toned down. Like I said, for better or worse, when you guys get older, you'll understand why it's better to be less aggressive. Then again, I'm sure Code Geass probably understands. It's tough. It's tough being an adult. You have to be a lot more responsible and yada 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 blah blah blah. Not as fun as being a kid. I don't think I can find... Oh, I don't think I can. My Switch is dead. I can't find the charger. Oh, no. Um, I, I have been playing a new game for my Switch. Um, it really is helping me. Uh, I mean, uh, Code Geass was talking earlier about how I, you know, he doesn't know how I can do it. I do a lot of things. Well, I added something else to my, my to-do list is now I play this fitness boxing game. Um, and it really helps uh, get, get a good exercise. It's fitness boxing... Fist of the North Star, which for those of you who don't remember, who don't didn't see my video, I'm in Fist of the North Star, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, I did pick up this game as well, uh, just to practice and, and, and whatever. You use the Joy Cons uh, as like you know you just kind of grip them when you get in your stance for like boxing. Uh, it's fun. It's a cool like calorie burner. You can set it to like your specific uh, you know weight and height and etc. I like it a lot, so I just thought I'd throw that y'all's way. Hel helps, you know, with staying healthy, you know, and and all that. Um, my book was originally meant to be a solo story, but since then I have written spinoffs and sequels. But you, uh, I read your comment earlier. Did you? Um, publish them I can I can hook you up with some some people if you need help with that uh, yes it has the Patrick dream stage in that new thing courage pilot courage pilot early version uploaded in full in on YouTube wait courage pilot early version what on the uh, stretch films an hour ago yeah chicken from outer space but is this altered this short became the he, he doesn't specify that it's different early what do you mean early version is this different? Oof. This definitely looks the same. I can tell. The quality. Ooh. Yeah, qual the quality. John R. Dilworth. Why is it so why is the quality so bad? This looks terrible. This is this is like This looks so bad. Why is this... Why... I mean, you probably wouldn't notice it too much in person. Or, like, in video, but... It's so bad. Does that have the voice cast, those credits? It does. And, and this had no other voices in it. Yeah. It was just one guy who did all the voices. I wasn't sure if they did if they had, like, Walla or anything. That's wild. My radio company would be called Good Taste Alliance Radio. There will be 700 radio stations. Radio stations will have a... Awesome, man. All right, last question about this. Where do, where do I send you the links? to read my Twitter. Um, I also have Instagram... It's uh, Instagram.com slash Jamie Snowden. Or um, I have my TikTok as well. You guys can send me stuff on TikTok. I'm really trying to grow the TikTok, but at the same time, I don't really know what kind of videos to put. So I've just been putting like my my acting stuff. If you guys want to follow any of my acting stuff that gets released on Blu-ray, that's what I've been doing with my TikTok, is I've just been using it to kind of promote my stuff that comes out on Blu-ray. 
Look at this stuff over here. Uh, you've been doing amazing work. Your channel started off cool and it's kind of grown into something that's one of a kind. I appreciate it. That's what I'm trying it to be. Um, like, I, I love to... I love to try to do those YouTube videos that everybody else is doing. But... When they don't take off or whatever, it's not like I'm super mad about it or anything anymore. Um... They're still just fun to make, and if it doesn't take off, I can just still stick to the videos we've been making recently, which you guys seem to be enjoying anyways. And then that way, you know, next time I can I can um, just do, do that kind of a video again if I wanted to, you know. I can try again. But until then, I have the regular way of videos we've been doing. Remember the Switch game ARMS? I do remember it, but I didn't really watch it. Where did that go down, by the way? I wasn't paying attention. Oops. Oh. I didn't even see this up here. Oh! Who? Whoa! Who was going to know that spatula was there? Uh, I have that game, too. All three of us can play. This game? Yeah, we could... I mean, if it lets us do that, yeah. That'd be fun. You did publish them. Oh, wonderful. Good. See? Look at that. Now all you need is, just, is to just, you know, let the, the right person needs to read it. Get that book in front of the right person. You can even get, like, an indie filmmaker to do it. Oh, really? Okay, interesting. My, I, I'm perfectly in sync, but the game is not. Hmm. Was it like that last stream? Hmm. I'm unsure. Uh, I will have to try my best to figure it out. Later. If it gets too bad, let me know, and we'll try some stuff now, okay? Uh, Wii Sports is still doing good for my calorie burner after nine years. Oh, very nice. Dude, I love Wii Sports. Um, I, love, I love the boxing one. I love tennis. Tennis is a lot of 15 love. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, what else, what else, what else on Wii Sports? Baseball, fun, dude. Uh, did you ever play Wii Sports Resort? Or no, I'm sorry, not Wii Sports Resort. We play. I love the We Play a lot too. That tanks mini game they had, so much fun, so much fun. The one with the three logos at the end and different intro. Very nice. Yeah, Dirge. Do you know what? Uh, I was looking it up earlier. Votatune. You know what Votatune is? That's going to be my next big video as far as like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been slowly doing videos that are like this. Where are they? So I've kind of got a couple of different separate stuff going on for the channel. Don't know who's realized. So I have news videos like this, like Coyote vs. Acme. That's a news style video. What's it, What else is a news style? Cartoon Network updates. News style video. What else was a new style video I did? Uh, Blu-ray coming out, right? I've got a couple of different new style videos. Then I'll have uh, like my, you know, big production style videos, big editing, I'm on camera. You know, I've got these, right? Uh, I've got the reactions, right? Um, I've got the schedule rants, right? But then I have these, right? They'll see, that it's, they're not long. They're like three, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. And they're just like a, a video of editing, right? Like Uncompromisingly Hairy Bodies, Lost Johnny Bravo Editing Crossover, The Time the Jessens Watched Anime, um, these types of Invasion 2. Uh, it started really with the biggest crossover you've never seen. 
and I started trying to make videos like that. But as you can see, like I, I, I kind of split everything up a bit. But this one, Vodatune, is something I want to be the next one. Um, because look at this, look at this stuff right here. Bet you never knew this existed. Look at this. Is that Ben 10 fighting a banana? Fighting a banana from Gumball in the middle of the street. And that's not all. That's not all. It transitions to Shaggy and Chowder having just a brawl. Then he, then he throws pizzas. He throw Shaggy just fucking throws pepperoni pizzas out of his arms. Then we've got Mordecai versus Billy. This is real, by the way. All of this. This is all real. Um, look at this. Then he teleports him with the guitar. Billy gets... Look, Billy died. Billy Billy just got disintegrated by Martian, Marvin the Martian. Welcome to the new photo tomb. Using your cell phone or through our website now. Like, that was wild when I saw it for the first time. That was incredibly wild. Did I fall behind on chat again? Hold on. Uh, Alright, I can only use Instagram, so I'll give you the links there. Cool. Uh, where's the guy where he walks like he's tough shit? I don't know, man. He's probably fucking some bitches or something. That, that dude's too... That dude's too tough shit, man. That dude's got the... He's got the biggest dick in Bikini Bottom, man. Good Taste Alliance Radio Stations, Cartoon Network Talks, Metal Fire... Oh, Jamie Snowden's Cartoon Network Talks. I like the sound of that. Um, what do you think is under Double D's hat? What do I think is under Double D's hat? Just a really... Like... Like, he had some condition... This is just my, hypo my hypothesis... He has like a condition that just messes with his hair on his head, right? Like, you know, some people are like bald. Some people are like balding. It's something like that, except maybe it's like patchy. It's probably something very unnecessary. Patrick does need a belt. Um, Wii Sports Bowling was great. Phenomenal. Never played Wii Play. Oh, it's great. Oh, bowling. Yeah, I love bowling. Uh, ever watch Oni... Wait, Oni Plays? Oh, Oni Plays? I like Oni Plays. Alex Lemons, hey! How are you? Good to see you. Hey, Alex. Uh, uh, Votatune is some event in Cartoon Network in, in LA. But dude, it's like... It's like Super Smash Brothers. Like, it's insane. No, I've never seen that before. Add more sex appeal. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Banana Joe, Chowder is dead. Shaggy is overpowered. Chowder. Shaggy is so he can pull pizzas from his body and throw it. I can understand why you'd want to do a video about commercial because it looks amazing, doesn't it? Um, look at look at Patrick. Look at him. He is like out of it. Oh, I think I have to click on. There we go. Um, bro, did the U.S. Ne no, the U.S. never had that. All right, uh, Rip Valley, two thousand two to two thousand four. Oh, Billy. I feel like the guy with confident walk needs a name. Well, Smoothies. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of a name. You know, old man Jenkins. Maybe he's Big Dick Jenkins. I don't know. <laughs> Dirge. Nothing. It will never be answered. <laughs> Dude, that's the that's that's the world we live in, man. That's the world. Oh, oh, this one goes boom. That's much better. Ouch. Oh. So shiny. So it just bleeds in a circle. Better show Animaniacs or Tiny Toons. I would love, um, I would love Animaniacs. Tiny Toons is great, too. 
Sharing conversation with you has increased my interest in following my dude. Yes. Always follow your dreams, man. I, I look at life like this. Hey, my back feels better. I don't want to be at my deathbed. You know? My fi like I'm living my final day, my final hours on the planet. Having any regrets. None. I don't ever want to live my life imagining what if. I say screw it. Let me live life to the absolute fullest. Because why not? I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why any of us are here. Nobody knows why they're here. But you know what? While I'm here, I'm gonna make a name for myself. You know? I'm gonna... While I'm here, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna bust my ass off. Because guess what? When life is over, life is over, man. Not to get super real, I'm sorry, I'm getting real. Uh, but it's, it's, yeah, I, I, I don't want to have any regrets, basically. So I, I try to, I do everything. I get people tell me all the time, man, you're crazy, I can't keep up with you, you're, you're, you're doing everything, you're all over the place. And maybe that's true, probably that's true, but it's, uh, it's the life to live, you know? Big Dick Jenkins sounds great, I will call him that from now on. Big Dick Jenkins. Dude, I for real don't know where the hell we're going. I feel like, I feel like we need to get over that way. Actually, I'm almost confident we need to get over that way. Alright, Caesar. It is 1 a.m. I'll see you later, dude. I keep forgetting we both live in Texas. You live in, I believe you, you live in Houston, you said, I think. Big Dick Jenkins. Alright, so we got this. Oh, so it's gonna make us launch. We. What? Oh, I was about to say, are we gonna launch all the way over there? We did, I think. Right? Yeah, we're in a new area now. When I was younger and watched your early videos, I thought, the future Gohan guy is so cool. I wish I could be like him and make videos like him. And look what you're doing! You're making videos! See? All it, That's all it takes! You know, I watched a... Uh, in fact, let me bring it up so everybody can see it. I watched this uh, motivational video the other day by uh, The Rock. The Rock, uh, one day, yeah, one day quote. I think it's, I think it's this. Well, it's for that now this video. It's probably not that long. One day, or, or, one, day one. One day, one day, or, or, day one. Day so one. You think about it. Uh, so you think about what it. Uh, what is that thing that we wanted to accomplish? That, wanted to accomplish, that, that, wanted wanted to accomplish, that thing you wanted to accomplish. That thing that has been gnawing at your gut. That, gut. that, that thing, thing that you think you have some passion that you want to take a crack at. That you want to take a crack at. That thing that's been in your crosshairs. That thing I'm thinking about. I want to accomplish it. I think I'm going to be good at it. Or who knows? I think I could make something of this particular thing. Ah, you know what? Yeah. Do it one day. I'll do it one I'll day. I'll do it one day. Okay. That's up to you. Okay. Sure. That's up to you. Or, or, and I like this one better. And I like this one better. Day one. Day one. This is day one. This is day, day one. one. 
this is day one, I have had that thing my I have had in my crosshairs, that thing that I believe gets me out of bed, that thing that I run towards, that thing that I want to be passionate about, that thing I want to accomplish, today is the first day. Today is day one. Today is that day. Today is that day. Where we are taking action. We are taking that first step. And the first step of action is in the mental declaration. The moment we say it, today is that day. And the universe meets us halfway. And the universe meets us halfway, and we go. See, I love that quote. Um, it's one of my more favorite motivational quotes. Um, it's one day or day one. You know, it's it's something that's so simple, but it's something that I like. I think it's a great message, and it's something that I, I think of myself all the time. Like, uh, I, I've been continuing to tell myself that I want to learn how to play guitar, and uh, I'm finally starting on uh, on Monday. Monday, this Monday, I'm, I'm starting to, to really take it seriously and, like, fully take it by the horns. Really want to see Big Dick Jenkins again. Big Dick Jenkins. Uh, okay, so we're back where we were. See, I think we needed to be over that way, but it kind of led me just nowhere. Right? There was nothing over there, right? Let's do, let me go and double check, but I'm almost confident there was nothing there. What do you think of the scam in Ed and Any Big Picture Show? Oh, uh, what do I think was the scam? I don't know. It was... It, it ha I mean, it had to have been something bad, right? Like, obviously, it had to have been. But we don't know what. Yeah, I don't know where it wants me to go. I really don't. Like, what is this? Oh. Okay. All right, here's Larry. You know, we should talk about... I thought the joke... Are we, wait, we're all the way back here? Or is this a new area? Uh, as a little kid, I dreamed of naming a character after my grandfather as a tribute to him. I managed to do that in one of my books, so that's a dream that I accomplished. That's awesome. I love when I love to see it when people accomplish their dreams. Love, love, love to see it. That's that's the only thing stopping you from achieving what what you want is you. We can have anything in this world we want to have, so long as we've got the right mindset and uh, people understand. And, yeah. I feel like I'm supposed to have been Spongebob a long time ago. So, let me go back and switch. Or can I not? Maybe I can't. Let me go talk to Mrs. Puff again. Uh, have you seen Spongebob? Yeah, she needs she needs to talk to Spongebob. So I just need to switch. Game lag? Is it still lagging? I really hope not. Please let me know if it is. 
My original dream was to... Oh, the game's out of sync with... Oh, yeah. I, I don't know what's wrong with it. I think somehow it started up bad. Here we go. My original dream was to run a comic book store, however, since then being a published author and a video creator has become more important to me. That's good. Do what you want to do. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do it. Ooh. How did that happen? What? Dude, there is too much going on on this stage. Dude, there is way too much going on in this thing. Let's do this again. We got it. We got it. There it is. You. Patrick needs to do laundry. My hero. All right, golden spatula. We need two more. Um, getting my YouTube idol, which is you, to watch, comment on my video, has been another dream that I managed to accomplish, dude. And maybe one of these days we'll make a collab. That'd be another big dream, right? Sometimes pushing a simple what? button is the most I, satisfying. I don't get push, 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 push. But you know, but you see how that dream evolves, you know? Like I started off, you know, making YouTube videos about cartoons, right? Then, um, you know, I start, you know, making, or I start car talking to people who have made the cartoons that I grew up watching. You know, like the loyalty badges that are getting made. Going to be done by somebody who worked on stuff I grew up with, who inspired those. You just met the Spongeinator. I love opening presents. Yeah. Have you ever read any of the Powerpuff Girls comics from DC or IDW? Um, no, I have not, but I want to. If you, so the plan was originally, long ago, on the channel, that I was going to release videos in this style. Let me go back down far enough to where I can find it. Um... But similar to that video I just had uploaded for Valentine's Day, kind of, uh, where is it? <clears throat> um, here we go. Samurai, so lo if you look right here, Lost Episodes, Samurai Jack DC Comics. I review the first half, and then I did a second part, this one here. No, actually, I did, I did the whole DC Comics here, and then the Samurai Jack IDW Comics here. Um, and these are very, very good videos that I wish got more views, but... Um, 
it's like here hold on your valentine the gift of russell I, I put a lot of effort into these videos make happy At Metro, get a new iPhone 12 with 5G. Yeah, well, yeah. If you if you can give me a good idea, you don't take yada yada we'll, uh, we can collab on something. Oh, what was this intro? I don't even remember what this intro was. I was I was supposed to be parodying something. I think this was supposed to be like a tsunami promo joke. Yeah, it was because that's definitely the tsunami base. Stick. And that was a dumb joke. The whole point of this joke, so I would just walk up to a Texas roadhouse, right? Instead of the Toonami Absolution. Or no, because this was a joke on um on, on the on the Outlaw Star. Where where it's the same music and the and the uh, missiles launching off and he, he's like Space. So my missile launching off was the Texas Roadhouse, and instead of saying space, I said steak. It was such a stupid joke. I don't know why I thought it was funny. Stink. But that was the intro. Man. See, see, it was like a much more like in-depth style. And then I go into. I go into every issue Jack. and I talk Jack about to destroy the ropes all the chapters and I break but them down so you know about what happened in each chapter and I show all the images and I put a lot of work into this. Um, so there's that one and then there's the sequel I did which was the, um, let me get down to four enough so I can find it again, which was the IDW comics. Uh, did I go down too far? No, yeah, it's like right, right, right here. Yeah, this one I did the IDW comics. And this one I, I did a, uh, so I had Greg Baldwin this, voice Aku. You know, IDW comic Hold series, on. but. Do y'all really want to know about this? No. This is going to take, no. take a lot more time. Plus, this not is really new, right not really to the past. <laughs> Look at how well this was done. Look at how well this was done. You wanna know what I had to do to get those pages to flip? I literally had to get a, 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 a giant fan and just blow it like at an angle while holding my camera so it would like flip the pages. But I couldn't, pl I couldn't play the actual footage of the of the pages flipping and use the audio because I had the giant fan to make the pages turn. So I had to just mute the whole clip. Uh, look at baby face me. Hey Joseph. So I had to mute the whole clip and then just look up like uh, page turning uh, like sound effects and I, I edit that in. Um, but yeah, this was this was a good video too. Oh, it looked like an adult swim bump, yeah. Action stuff. Yeah, we, we kind of went for that Toonami kind of style. But yeah, this is what was my crossover with, well, crossover with Greg Baldwin. <laughs> it is I, Aku, the shape shifting master of darkness. Why have you stopped reviewing? There is much more to see. Because I didn't want to review the feature comics. I only wanted to talk about the ones that I grew up with from my childhood. The ones that are nostalgic. Foolish YouTuber. I was you trying really hard you. to capture that, like, JonTron slash AVGN slash Alpha Rad. Like, I was trying so hard. But anyways, those are both really good videos. So, Plush, if you wanted to watch... Uh, something about the comics of Cartoon Network stuff. That's stuff I did that I really recommend. But, um, uh, as for Powerpuff Girls, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do research on that and make a video. It's just, dude, those took, ugh, man, that took a lot. To, that, that took a lot out of me, if I'm being honest. That really did. Those videos took a lot out of me. Because, like, having to go through each chapter and, like, 
the the voiceover wasn't hard. What was hard was the editing. It was a lot to edit. You're very ready. Yeah, me too. I, I mean, I still would love to do stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I still would love to do stuff like that, either way. It'd be fun. No, I, I, I really kind of just got a cameo from Greg. Just because I wanted the, the, the clip. So I just got a cameo. So we have enough to buy another golden spatula from Mr. Krabs. So, do you want that? So we need one more spatula. How much is his next one? Your treasure chests look a bit Four thousand? You freaking frick. That's so ma so many flower petals. Super Ultra Combo. Don't forget. Don't forget. Oh. I don't. There it is. All I had to do was talk to Patrick. Yeah, that's 15. That's this one here, right? We have. We have. Have we already gone this way? Yes, we went that way. That's the way we need to go, but I just want to make sure of something. We did do so jellyfish fields we can go. And wow, so we're on the final area. All right. Who would have thought? We're already in the final area. Are you all ready? Yeah, they, they, it's a lot of issues. It's a lot of... And, and then, not just Powerpuff Girls, but don't forget, Powerpuff Girls also appears in other adventures in the Cartoon Network Block Party comic, um, Cartoon Network Action Pack, so many. Ready. Ready? I'm ready. Ready. And his challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look, it's a giraffe! Uh, I think I need to get home. To feed Gary. I was wondering when we were gonna have the next boss battle. Okay, so that's what takes health away from her? Okay. Not too hard. Looks like the robots left itself vulnerable. Now the robot Oh the fish, the talking there. fish. I love him. Looks like the robots left this is itself easy. vulnerable. I wanna play, I wanna play. Patrick, we're not playing. We're fighting for our lives! I wanna play, I wanna play! Oh, alright! Spring! The old Whoa. clothesline move! I was the gonna say, I, I know I did it. Head. Shocking takedown by Patrick. <laughs> Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity I'm here. Carry a lot of stuff around. Oh, nice flying uh, head. Thing moved by Patrick. One more. 
Oops. Ouch. The robot's losing its head. Wow, I've never seen yep. such an electrifying oh, match. Like... Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh, that is original King. Yeah, it is original King Neptune, I think, right? Maybe they just were like, hey, Clancy Brown can't do it. You want to step in for a day? Fresh like a spring breeze. Spring! The old clothesline move. There's the robot's vulnerability. Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it. Oh, what an uppercut! This whole boss has been pretty easy. is just about over. Yeah, cuz there's there's no way we'll lose. Ow. Like a spring breeze. That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever I see one. Yeah, but it gave us a spatula for it. I just got a screener DVD of a Scooby Doo movie. What which movie? I can go get it and tell you what movie it is. Yes, please tell me. I'd love to know. Oh, wait. There's more. Oh, come on. I like that King Neptune a lot better than the newer one. I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashy. SpongeBob, I'm your. No, not exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you th tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the jump bucket. Hey, remote tripod. Oh, you're fixing to film a video on Nickelodeon. Ooh, okay. All right. Let me know. Let me know how it goes. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend. Hmm. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wah! Remember though, the bubble bowl Got it. Okay. Oh, that's helpful. That's really helpful. Oh, we're in a whole new area. I need 30 spatulas to get into there. Dang. Oh, Aloha Scooby-Doo. That was one of the later ones. Screener on VHS. Oh, no. Screener DVD. Wow. I didn't even know they did screener DVDs. 25, 40, 30. definitely where you need to go. That's the final boss for sure. Roll, roll, roll the sponge. What is this? What is this? I was like, I know it has to be something. 
something. Wow! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! My heroes! Hit me with the water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh! That was a good uh, find at a Goodwill, sure dude. He can't fix the TV? Really rare. Mermaid Man! Twid be good be! Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? No, but... Okay, then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up? Absolutely. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down. Is it... Is it pudding night yet? I can't wait to be that old so I can ask those questions. Is it pudding night yet? People give old people like a bad rap, but I mean, dude, I know I'd be mad if I couldn't have pudding in one, one night a week. What are you watching? Is that just the security camera outside? Into the Mermelab. Have you seen the SpongeBob parody of the No Way Home trailer where SpongeBob is Spider Man and Barnacle Boy is Dr. Strange? Oh, I think I have seen that. I think I have. I, yeah, I think I remember that being funny. Here, hold on. Let me see if I can find that. Pretty rare plush, honestly. Sitting ducks, which would air after. Oh, I liked sitting oh, ducks. Shucks. This is a good one. Some suggest that SpongeBob's powers include the Krabby Patty's ability to hypnotize customers. Stop! Come on. Yes, yeah, all great, Patty. Oh. Can we just stay up here all day? It is so, so crazy, crazy down there. Wow. <laughs> That's a crazy for SpongeBob to talk like that. Folks, Spider Bob is in fact SpongeBob SquarePants. Listen, I did not kill Man Ray. The jellyfish did. The jellyfish that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everyone knows, you don't have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're spider you spider Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. So, SpongeBob, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please. We saved all of Bikini Bottom together. I think we are beyond you calling me sir. Okay, Tim. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. When Man Ray revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it where he never did. Barnacle Boy, don't spin that whirlpool. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. I love how Mermaid Man is the one to tell him. Well, be the Mermaid Man. The world is about to forget that SpongeBob SquarePants is Spider Bob. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how these powers work. So Sandy's going to forget everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the world. Please. Great Neptune, Patrick. He's my best friend. My grandma should really know. Stop talking. Ah! What just happened? What just happened? We tampered with the stability of space time. That's cool effect for TV. That's a really cool effect for TV. Wow, this is so good. Trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. Ah! 
Be careful what you wish for, square pants. Squidward. Hello, SpongeBob. That's funny. I can give you some pictures if there's nothing on the internet. Yeah, show me. I love a Barnacle Boy. Uh, Barnacle Boy real name is Tim, like his voice actor. Yeah. I remember. Okay, I remember this level. This is the level I remember from SpongeBob. From, from uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom more than any other level. This you shouldn't right speak here. up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you. I two. loved Mermaid Man and Barnacle in Boy. Awesome gives me the as a kid too. See? I loved any super. I just loved superheroes. All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. That's not Mermaid Man either. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! That sounds like the voice of Leonardo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Squidward was well, great as Dr. Him? Octavius. We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, go. Right. It's not just any sponge, it's Super Sponge. Soaking up time. There's nothing like the what? smell of bubbles in the morning. Me too. Superheroes and, uh, dude, if I was a kid born today... Wait, am I in a boss fight? Anything that had a superhero and anything that was like a multiverse kind of thing. That's what I was going to say. Like, if I was a kid today, I'd be having a field day. I loved multiverse stuff. I loved multiverse. I loved clones. I loved evil clones. I loved different versions of characters. I even, I remember uh, wanting so bad the third Lilo and Stitch movie, the, um, uh, the Leroy and Stitch. I wanted that movie so bad just because it was like an evil Stitch. I was like, this is so cool. Uh, by the way, my next uh, next stream... Wait. they will be up by next stream and it will be the community thing so everyone can see it. Awesome. Oh, he passed away. Oh, I see. Yeah, I agree. EWE. Take that for sure. Wow. Golden spatula. What? I was like, hello, can I pick it up? We only need eight more. Like a new sponge. 
the Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Why did you not show the disc of Foster's Home Season Wait, 1 DVD am screener? I, to see you, and not just the uh, I don't know, I guess I just forgot. Knees, it's nothing crazy. Do you remember those Never big head bumpers that Nick did back in 2013? Those were really scary to me. Big head bumpers? There it is right there. Steven Hillenburg didn't want Mermaid Man to be a racist in the show. So Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy don't have speaking roles in modern episodes. Oh, recast in the show. Oh my god. I, I was like, geez, when did that episode happen? I don't remember that episode. Uh, so they didn't want to be re recast in the show. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I've noticed that in newer episodes, they don't... They, they don't uh, really talk that much. You see them, but you, but you don't really talk to him that much so these scared you huh I don't I don't blame you I don't remember these I don't think I was watching Nick around this time 2013 or 2015 I don't think I was watching Nick How many are there? Oh wow, there's a five minute video. Okay, I was not expecting that. Yeah, that is pretty that is pretty scary. I do not blame you. They are pretty creepy. Can we see it just so people can add it to the wiki? Um sure. Let me go grab it. Ugh. trying to you see it eh, it's kind of unfortunate this there season one the text right there says street date 2607 order date 1207 and then at the top it says DVD screener for promotional use only, not for sale or rental. Selected episodes included, no special features included. All right, uh, Kogios, have a great night, dude. Talk to you soon. But yeah, that's that's that. That's the the DVD screener right there. What is your list for Good Taste Alliance Radio? Anything that's got some 41 in it. Love that. Yeah, it's cool, right? Mm. I should make more shorts that are just... Bolo Rama. Bolo Rama. 
Do I go, should I go up? No. No, go back. Yeah, I love my Cartoon Network collection. I really, really do. It's so much blood, sweat, and tears going into that. There's nothing like the smell of thumbs Left in the morning. Jump. Smells like victory. Oh, you do? Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been thinking about making more. Probably just about random collectible stuff, I guess. Dang, I missed my plane. Nothing for me really to go that way. I can go this way. You're my hey. Okay, where do I switch to Patrick? Switch to Patrick. Hmm. This whole area is made for Patrick. Ah, that sucks. Can't do anything over here. That's how we change. 
Oh, well, hold on. SpongeBob is needed for this. Hold on. Let's do this first. And then change this uh, Patrick on the way down. I have a few clips of Foster Home Pilot from 2003 on my uh, channel up uh, in a video. Sure. Fosters. I'm not seeing anything from Fosters yet. Nothing so far. No fosters. I'm not seeing fosters. Up? Here, let me let me just type Fosters. Nothing. What's the name of the video? Oh, here it is. Here it is. sensitivity is so common it immediately feels like somebody's poking directly on their nerve i recommend sensodyne and then i started reading it more and i realized that this life and that's what's great about this show and you know people shouldn't make fun of it because they're really supportive and they're really great and kid in each view the house in itself is that's where this show takes place where it's about a, a foster home for imaginary friend really bizarre strange characters forced to live in this house and get along casting the main characters in the show okay we got wilt Hey, how you doing? Will used to be really athletic. Um, I know I'm all broken with the wonky eye and the stubby arm. Probably freaks you out, huh? Again. Yeah, that's from the full movie, I believe. What is this? Leapster. Mac, I really need your help. Stupid the stupid banister. Mac, those scribbles took my letter blocks. Now they is way up there, and I am scared of eye. That's cool. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, that's just clips from the uh, from the pilot movie, I believe. Yeah, I remember seeing the the pilot. I, I don't really know what the point of that is, honestly. All right, so that's as far as I can go. I can't do anything. Not yet, anyways. Let's be Patrick. Now we can go wreck some stuff. I got a job. Leave it. All you have. Oh. No, bro. Throw the tooth. You might want to be quick. Too bad. They look the same to me. But who knows? Maybe you're right. Alright. 
That's much better. Oh, nice. What'd you rant about? What's wrong with Nickelodeon now, huh? What did they do wrong this time? Hey, I know you. You're that guy. Hmm. Gonna, you think you can? I could see Squidward's. Now listen. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn all lights. Sorry. Just start. Just start turning those cylinders. kid is supposed to figure this shit out. I'm a grown adult, I can't figure this shit out. Let's go down this way. Oh. How many of these do I have to carry? Can I even do anything over here? I don't think I can do anything over here. <laughs> robot go yeah, that's the, so that area over there, that's all I can do. Oh, the documentary. I can't wait for that to come out, honestly. I really can't. It's going to be awesome. Well, not awesome, but I mean, like, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what, what that is, what, you know, what's going on with that. All right. Um, I don't need to go back that way. It leads up there. I don't think I need Patrick anymore. I think we're done with Patrick. You're my hero. Hey. I think we're done with this area. I'm gonna double check here one more time, but I think this is it. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like. It smells like victory. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess I could over there though. No. Now you want to go in the slide. Alright, so yeah, I think we're done here. Yeah, I think we're done. Let's go back. Pretty solidly sure we're done here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, but then we get here. Hmm. She's back into Patrick. You think it was good until 2017? Dude, I don't know. That dude, 2016 was pretty bad. 2016 was pretty bad, man. Teen Titans Go was like the only thing on TV for quite a long time. Yeah, this is what it wants me to do, but I don't know what to do. Let me Google it. Every third button. And choose one to be your first button. Okay. So... Make sure. Stand in the middle of the buttons and choose one to be your first button. From this switch, count three to the left or three to the right and then hit that button. Why my here? Have, Have a, a golden a spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Six more. Power of 2016 didn't come out. I would say that's true. Can some more people start chatting? I don't know if I'm really be the only one. <laughs> really don't like Patrick in this game. Uh, why don't you like Patrick in this game? Why not? Wait. 
There's a golden spatula up there. How do you bring that other thing forward? Hmm. There has to be a way. that's where I need to go, right? I'm fairly positive that's where I need to go now. Because look, there's a golden spatula up there. Yeah, I know, like, it's, it's, it seriously is, uh, I have no freaking idea. I'm, I'm at a loss. As a 30-year-old man, I am at a loss. I guess let's try going this way again with the bowling. I don't know. We're missing something here. I'm not sure what it is. Because that way is only for Patrick, and we already did it. It was just to do the thing. I'm starting to think I need to get on the trampoline again. But let's try this real quick. Can double jump be a ball and he's a lot faster, but Patrick is just slow, he can't jump that good. I hate the watermelon. Oh, the watermelon throwing? Yeah, it is kinda it is kinda weird. I don't remember Patrick ever really like just throwing watermelons. Like that was like his thing, you know. gonna respawn me. What? I mean, I guess this is fine. I'll take it. Alright. Up we go. Up piece. Up piece. Up piece. I'll take it to up piece. Right wall jump activated. That's what we were missing. That's what we were missing. We did it. We did it. I feel like a new sponge. Now we go back to the future. What is y'all's favorite Spongebob episode? Mine, as a kid, for some reason, was always the one where Patrick, um, like, lost his, uh, his head, and they replaced it with another, like, thing that looked like his head, but it wasn't, and it made him super smart. I liked that one a lot for some reason. We're gonna get past the boating school level, where SpongeBob is a ball. It'll probably be tough for us too. I'm really not that great at a lot of these games, man. The ones that are made for kids. The first one is here. When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. Return. Are you listening? Okay. SpongeBob, press all of the security override buttons throughout the Mermelair. Then It, 
I guess go this way? But isn't this where we came? Maybe not. I don't remember. Crusty Towers from Season 4. Gary, I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelade. Band Geeks or Jellyfishing? Ooh, Jellyfishing is so good. Uh, but Band Geeks is good, too. I like, um... Where he's like, More like, belongs in the trash. I love that episode. Or, uh... The, the Cursing episode. Arg, Arg is a great episode. The Halloween episode is good. The Christmas episode is good. The first one. The first Christmas. What was it? Uh, who is Santa? Or what is Christmas? Or something like that. No, Christmas who, right? Yeah. Um, oh, you took the yellow. So many good SpongeBob episodes, man. So many good ones. You remember, um, it's the best day ever. Love that fucking episode. Love that soundtrack. I still remember going to Walmart and coming home with that CD. What a weekend, let me tell you. I played it on repeat for about a couple days and got sick of it pretty quick. progress making lots of good progress yeah oh 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 that was close that took all of my being to make that jump i feel like a new sponge oh bangy is the first episode of spongebob you ever saw that's a great uh, great introduction to spongebob and geeks, oh yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh... All right. You get out of here. Fresh like a spring breeze. Hate those guys. So annoying. <laughs> They're not taking like dude, how spot. many of these are there, man? God, give me this health! Give me this no Fresh like <sighs> a spring breeze. Dude, I feel like I'm actually fighting for my life. I'll get on the way back. Why not, right? Rolling ball area. You saw it on your third birthday? Wow. I'm surprised you can remember that far. I can't. I can't. Wish I could sometimes. Ooh, gold spatula. I get the ball. You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that good luck, SpongeBob. All right.
What did that do? I don't think he needs a hand. Eh, never mind. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. What do you what what goes here then? Hmm. I don't know what you do there. I have no idea. Well, there's some more stuff over here. I feel like a new sponge. How far does this go? something down here. Or is that where we came? I'm really starting to feel like this is where we came. Yeah. Yeah, let's go this way. I don't know if I remember going that way. My oldest memory was watching a episode of Fetch in 2009. I wasn't paying attention to it. Fetch PBS Kids Show, by the way. I actually first saw Fosters in 2015, thanks to you talking about one of your old videos. I saw the first DVD in store, and I was like, hey, it's on Card Generic. Let's see it. Change my life. Oh, of course. Yeah, Fosters is awesome. Love Fosters. Love Fosters so much. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad I got introduced to you, and I'm glad you... We're able to benefit from the awesomeness that is Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Yeah, I remember the Foster's Home episode um, with Raz Raspberry, or whatever her name was, Cranberry, who was obsessed with Blue. I remember when she made her debut. Uh, I think we're going back too far, right? It wanted me to go back. Why would I go back again? Hold on. Hold on. Barry, yeah. What is aftermath of the documentary? What is aftermath of the documentary on Dan Schneider? Well, we don't know what the aftermath is going to be yet. We won't know until until we figure out until the thing comes out. Uh, if you're asking what I think would be the aftermath, uh, that's a big question. No, is this a new one? How do 
want to go. I don't want to go backwards. I think we're going backwards. I don't know where we're going, dude. Check it out. Whew. Man, it's frustrating. No time to talk. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Let's go to Barnacle Boy. Let's see what's going on with Barnacle Boy. It it will let me go back, right? boy be this way. Alright, I saw that one. Barry was in two now, episodes. First was in the first apple. season. Oh, I don't remember her in season five. Or maybe I do. Get some bath How to get some bath salts? Talking about bath salts, dude. I've got no freaking idea where we're going and what we're doing. This is so stressful. I can't go back that way. Even if I got up there, yeah, there's no way to get back that way. That sucks. And this area is pretty much nothing, right? Not helpful at all. 
You said you didn't have a problem with the Nick head bumpers in 2015. They seem pretty scary to me. No time to. Hmm. See this this way going back this way feels wrong. Ow. I feel like a new sponge. If if I end up going all the way back, I'm gonna be pissed. I don't remember where I've gone and where I haven't already. Fresh like a spring breeze. Just my size. Like a new sponge. It shines. Super, super close. Run. Run. Take a hit of damage. <gasps> oh, oh. You guys saw that ultra instinct? Again! Three times in a row. Whoa, dude. Dude, one more hit and we would have been dead. Wait, what? Did it just bring us back? I'm so confused. Oh, hey, you're on Twitch now. What's up, man? Did it really just bring us? Yeah, that was death. Ultra Instinct, we're out. You saw that, right? Uh, I didn't think that the Good Night Show on Sprout was scary for some reason. I don't know why it was. I don't know why either. Oh, I don't need to fight them anymore. I can just go past him and go up here. Ooh. I don't know how any kid was supposed to do that, to be honest. I really don't. What, what does that do? What is the point of that? What is the point of that? It looks like there's something else for you to jump on. Yeah. 
yep, that's it. I guess we're just back out here now. In order for the ball to reach the end, that's a mission that sucks. Yeah, I'm not vibing with that one necessarily. Not vibing with that one. I mean, you, I don't think, saw it, but I don't know why when I was younger, it was so creepy to me. I don't, well, I was the only person who was scared of that when I was young. I never saw it, unfortunately, so I can't say. But if it's scary for you, it, hey, that's a genuine fear. I have regained control of the security system. You have pressed. Here we are. Oh, you've been doing Twitch since 2015? Do you stream yourself? I don't know what that did. You should go help Mermaid Man. He's in the villain containment. Villain containment area. Oh, this path is open for me now. Even though I can see Mermaid Man down there. Sitting on the couch. Well, the security system has been shut down. And we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendid glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's the villain containment system. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like Good night, Jonathan. See you later, buddy. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray! The atomic flounder! The dirty bubble! No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn! Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer. Look it up. I'm 100. Sure, you will not be scared. I'm not scared of it anymore. But 2010, 2016, it was. He said, "Look it up." I'm 100. Oh, 100 percent sure. Can you tell me what the name of it is again? What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold. And I can look it up. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I All right. take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man. I'll look it up in just a minute. Damn it. 
Feel like a new spot. Or just keep on going. Before I do that, I'll look up this thing of yours. The Good Night Show on Sprout. What about the show used to scare you? Stickies, Jeremy. I can definitely see why this would scare you. I can definitely see why this would scare you. This is terrifying. I'm a grown man, and this is terrifying. I don't know who, who designed this and was like, this is cute. This is cute for kids. Great, because it's that time of day when we say... Hey! Hooray! We had another fantastic. Don't know about all that. I keep saying help Mermaid Man, but I already this is just the boss arena. There's nothing else in here.
Let me go over this way and talk to Mermaid Man. That's it? It's the same? And then that way, that way goes nowhere. It literally goes nowhere. It just brings you back here. Try going to Patrick and going back to uh, Barnacle Boy. Let's try it. You're pr I probably would be scared. You're right. That's why we're not gonna watch those ones. Now, how to get some bath salt? That's it. Nothing else. Oh! Well, Patrick Dad. Patrick Dad. I think we're just done with the area. Honestly. The only way to really go is this way now. Go backwards. Again, what other video game will you hear me say the phrase? Give me that out of here. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah, I can. Like a new sponge. Oh, that you sent me? Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, this is annoying. I don't know where we are. I'm quitting. It's quitting time. That was annoying. Uh, let me look at those pictures you say you sent me. You said you said them on Instagram? I 
I haven't gotten anything on Instagram. No, nothing. I did not get anything on Instagram. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. I'll catch you all in the